Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Chef D Knight, a date night catering with another episode of Funk Up the Flavor. So before we get into funking up the flavor, I want to talk to you about February 14th. So February 14th, Finale Wine and Desserts and Date Night Catering presents A Lover's Kind of Night. So go on eventbrite.com and search for Finale and get your tickets. I can't wait to see you there. The food is going to be phenomenal. Unlimited wine, music, vocalists. We are going to have a lover's kind of night. So I can't wait to see you there. So on today's episode, what are we going to be funking up? Well, I figured that since the Super Bowl is right around the corner, I'd give you guys another Super Bowl snack. So, we're going with a spinach artichoke dip. I know, right? Like, it's one of those things that a lot of people really enjoy, but never really, like, took the time out to learn how to make. So, I'm going to funk up the flavor on spinach artichoke dip today. So, come right back and we're going to show right, you how family. To so, here are all of the ingredients for our funk up the flavor spinach artichoke dip. So um, I am definitely gonna funk this up a little bit. So uh, let me just run down the ingredients. And I do wanna say, this is a really, 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 really cool recipe uh, for those of you who don't like cooking. Um, what I like about this recipe is everything goes in the bowl, you mix it together and you put it in the pan and you bake it. I mean, it cannot get any easier. So the only thing that it's going to require is just a little time uh, on your part to like actually go pick up the ingredients and, and actually put it together. So I have two cans uh, of drained artichoke hearts. Uh, that is, it is spinach artichoke dip, so we're going to need these. I've got... Uh, quarter of a cup of Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. I've got one cup of uh, Romano cheese. This dish has a lot of cheese in it. I've got uh, one, uh, one and a half cups of Parmesan cheese. I've got one medium onion and four cloves of garlic. I've got one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella. I've got 12 ounces of cream cheese, one cup of cooked and drained spinach. Listen, when you get this spinach, you can get this out of the frozen uh, vegetable section at your local grocery store. Uh, it comes in a plastic bag. You know, you can throw it in the microwave like six minutes. So once you do that, make sure that you drain it. Uh, the reason you want to drain this is you don't want all of this liquid in your dip. And one cup of chopped fresh spinach. So in a traditional spinach artichoke dip, you won't find Greek yogurt. You won't find fresh spinach. Oh, and my seasoning mix. Let's not forget what's in here. All right, so I've got, this is about six tablespoons of seasoning. So I've got uh, three tablespoons of house seasoning, you know, my salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, granulated garlic, dry parsley, and granulated onion. Now, I also have about a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Uh, that is something that is not on a traditional, in a traditional spinach artichoke dip. I do like the little heat. I also have half a teaspoon of herb de Provence. So it just kind of adds a little more depth of flavor. And then I have uh, three uh, tablespoons of uh, dried basil in there along with one uh, tablespoon of paprika. All right. So what you want to do with all of these ingredients, man, just put them in your bowl and start mixing like seriously. Now you want to reserve about a couple ounces of your uh, Parmesan cheese and uh, a couple ounces of the mozzarella cheese. The reason is you want that for your topper. Your Greek yogurt goes in there, your cooked spinach, the fresh spinach, and the cream cheese. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna incorporate all this and mix all this together. Then I'm gonna come back and show you guys how to put this together bake it off and have a funked up spinach dip for your Super Bowl or any other time. All right, family, this is what your uh, 
spinach artichoke dip should look like after it's uh, after you've incorporated everything. So you really want to make sure that you get all of your cheeses blended. That is the secret to this dish, is that once the cheeses are blended, it'll all meld together really well. And the reason I use the cooked spinach and the fresh spinach is it just adds a couple different uh, levels of flavor to the dish. Remember, the show is called Funk Up the Flavor. So I'll be right back to uh, put this together for you in the pan. Super easy what we're gonna do. So I use uh, Baker's Joy. I don't know if you can get that on there. Uh, so you can use any non-cooked spray that you want. All you need to do is take your pan. I recommend a nine by 13. So I got an aluminum pan here. And then I'm just gonna spray the Baker's Joy in my pan. And the reason you wanna do this is so your stuff does not stick. If you do not spray your pan, you will not be happy. All right, so I'll be right back and we're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes. All right, family, I've actually got everything uh, in the pan. I've smoothed it out. So you just take your spatula, your spoon, and you just kind of smooth it out, all right? So remember that cheese that I said to hold back earlier, right? Here it is, all right? So we're gonna top this with about a cup of cheese. So this is a combination of all the cheeses that are in there. So I've got some Romano in here. I've got some uh, Parmesan. Also, I've got some mozzarella. So we're just gonna top this spinach artichoke dip with the cheese. And then we're gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes. You only want to go long enough to brown this and get the cheese uh, melted nice and bubbly and actually heat the dish through. So about 25, 30 minutes on that. Now, oven temperatures are different. Like my 350 might actually only be 345 degrees. Your 350 might actually burn a little hotter. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the temperature of this dish comes up to approximately 141 degrees. And the way you do that is you use a thermometer and insert it right in the middle. All right, so I hope you guys uh, come back and check out the finished product. All right, we're going in the oven right now, 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. And we just want this to get nice and bubbly and the cheese to get all melty. So we'll see you back in about 30 minutes. Family, welcome back. So we've got the finished product of the funked up spinach artichoke dip. Uh, so here is the full pan. All right, nice and bubbly, got the nice little edges. So you know everything's melted. Um, I actually did check the temperature on it. My temperature actually got up to 155 degrees. So we are good. All right, so I did take a little bit um, out for myself. Because as I do with all dishes, I try them for you, let you know what to expect when you go to make this. All right, so here we go. We're actually gonna go ahead and take this bite now. Spinach dip, spinach artichoke dip on just a little uh, tortilla chip. You can buy any chips that you want, so here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Listen. If you've never had a spinach artichoke dip, well, if you have, you didn't have one until you had this one. Creamy, get the artichoke coming through real nice. The spinach, the cheese, even got like a little back note of um, heat from the cayenne. Not a lot, but just a little back note. Very, very good. So, before I go, two things I want to leave you with. Number one, Go to eventbrite.com, search Finale, F-I-N-A-L-E, and get your tickets for our Lovers Kind of Night, which is going down on February 14th at the Yellow Canary Gallery in Birmingham, Alabama. Second thing I want to leave you with, believe, believe, believe in yourself. Um, there's not enough uh, time, hours in the day to where I can, you know, literally tell you the power that you will actually generate for yourself when you be begin to believe in yourself and believe that you are possible. Believe that anything that you dream of 
is actually possible. So thank you guys for the support. This is Chef D Knight with another episode of Funk Up the Flavor. Y'all have a wonderful day, man. And if you love it, keep doing it. Have a good one.